My name is Patrick McCahill. I am a urologist. I work in Easton, Massachusetts. I've been a urologist since 1991. I knew I wanted to be a physician pretty early on. My father had uh, actually started medical school, but then World War II started and he didn't get to finish uh, medical school. And uh, I, I think that uh, started my drive. I grew up on Cape Cod. Uh, I went to UMass Amherst, and then I went to Tufts Medical School. I went on a military scholarship, so I owed active duty time. So uh, when I was done with residency, which I did in Maryland, I then uh, was active duty in Germany for a couple of years and in Colorado for a couple of years. In medical school, you have to decide whether you want to be a surgeon or a, a a medical doctor and so I decided early on I wanted to do surgery it just sounded more interesting uh, more hands-on uh, and then then you have to decide what kind of surgeon and urology uh, um, seemed like a, a, a great specialty because there's so much variety. Lithotripsy is a, a combination of two Greek words breaking and stone. The full name is uh, extracorporeal shockwave lithotripsy. So this is a technique that was developed in Germany in the 1980s and they discovered that uh, um, shockwaves could be concentrated uh, uh, in such a way that uh, stones could be broken without even any instrument uh, going inside a, a person. Now shockwaves won't travel through air so originally People were dipped in a vat, a, a tank of water, so that uh, the shock waves could travel through the water into the person and the, the, the shock waves were then concentrated on the stone. Nowadays we don't use a tank, uh, we, you're laying in sort of a puddle or there's a, a water pillow that's uh, butted up against your flank. And uh, the, the shock wave is generated uh, and it's focused with a mirror so that the, the center of the, the earthquake is concentrated right on the stone and the, the shock wave is done 2,500 times, takes 25 minutes, 100 shocks per minute, and then the stone is fragmented and breaks up and hopefully passes. We've assembled a large group of urologists over a number of locations uh, and we're all board certified and we're beginning to subspecialize. Uh, because uh, medicine has gotten so complex, it's, it's probably not best that everybody does everything a few times a year. It's good if you, if you have certain things that you do m more frequently because you can do them better.